More than a thousand people march through downtown Detroit. It's just one of several rallies in the city today as residents fight to keep their water flowing. At least nine people under arrest taken into custody at one of those rallies. Yeah, a group called National Nurses United leading the largest of today's protests, citing serious health concerns if residents are cut off from their clean water supply. Fox's Amy Lang live now with the latest. Amy. Well, quite the crowd taking to the streets of downtown Detroit today. Their message, simple but loud, stop the shutoffs. The outcry and outrage over Detroit's water shutoff seemed to reach a crescendo Friday as at least a thousand protesters took to the streets of downtown, demanding the shutoffs be stopped. Actor Mark Ruffalo even joining in the protest, along with hundreds of people from the Netroots Nation conference at Cobo. The water department has shut off water to thousands of residents in the past few months for bills more than $150 and six months past due. In June alone, 7,200 were shut off, while 3,100 were turned on. Let's not cut off anybody's water for non-payment, except the corporations that are owing a lot of money. They ought to pay out. Uh, because they can. Congressman John Conyers among those calling for Detroit to stop the shutoffs to residents and instead make arrangements for payment. Federal bankruptcy judge Stephen Rhodes has told the city to come up with a better plan, that this is a national embarrassment. What do we do? Dozens of nurses also marching, calling it a health and safety issue, especially for children and the elderly. If my patients were to call me and tell me that they didn't have access to water, my first thought would be, how are they going to live? Over at Homrich, where the trucks normally roll out each day to shut off the water and turn it on, workers were sidelined as a smaller group of protesters blocked the entrance for hours. We are out here to stop the shutoff. 93 shutoffs for non-payment were scheduled for Friday, but 41 residents were waiting for water to be turned on. So eventually, Detroit police moved in. I have a prisoner bus coming. Uh, if you die, so choose to go to jail, I would ask that we do this systematically. I don't want anybody to get hurt. Sure enough, the bus rolled in and the protesters were taken away one by one. Zip ties on their wrists, but for a cause they believe in, forcing police to take action. Unfortunately, uh, the protesters here uh, decided to block the entrance, which caused the Detroit Police Department to uh, affect those arrests. So what next? The bankruptcy judge has asked the city to come back on Monday with a plan. A spokesperson for Kevin Orr tells me that they will be outlining that on Monday. They're improved uh, customer assistance and outreach, trying to tell people how they can get help if they need it. They say no one is being turned away if they are in need, and they've helped 17,000 people uh, get their water to stay on with payment plans. Of course, the protesters would argue that, but that is what the city is saying now. And again, they'll be before the judge on Monday. For now, live downtown, I'm Amy Lang, Fox 2 News. Yeah, Amy, let's let's talk about Mark Ruffalo joining the protest. Couldn't hurt to have a celebrity with that name recognition. Uh, he was also tweeting about it today, is that right? Tweeting about it and uh, saying that he was out here just to do exactly that, to give it a little bit of attention. He was encouraging people via uh, his Twitter account to come out and join in the protest. Again, the Netroots Nation conference is here at Cobo, so lots of people from that were also here joining Detroit activists who's, who've already been very, very involved in this cause. So it was really uh, quite a crowd and quite vocal, and uh, they are certainly hoping the right people heard it uh, because they want to stop these shutoffs. Certainly getting more attention to it. All right. Amy Lang reporting live. Thank you, Amy.